Hey there, welcome to this video. In our previous video, we talked about the optical storage devices, uh, optical disks. And in this video, we are talking about few memory storage devices apart from those which we have learned so far. And in this memory storage devices, uh, with the advent, we can say with the advent of the efficient manufacturing technologies, price of the memory chips has fallen considerably and they are getting cheaper day by day. As a result, we can say storage manufacturers have introduced new breed, this new breed of electronic secondary storage devices. Okay, these uh, secondary storage devices does not have any mechanical component. They don't have any mechanical comp component like as we have seen in magnetic discs or tapes uh, or in optical discs. Uh, they don't in this case they don't have any mechanical components okay and uh, some of uh, popular ones are flash drive what is a flash drive flash drive is somehow like this we usually call it pen drive also okay and what is it it is a non volatile first of all it is a non volatile that the data retain it has a data retention capability in it and uh, when we were uh, studying about the memories different kinds of memories uh, uh, like as in primary memory we have learned about the ROMs different kinds of ROMs that's read-only memory and in that we have a electronically erasable programmable read-only memory which is called EEP ROM that means we can electronically we can using an electricity we can wipe data in it we can read uh, we can write data electronically in it okay Secondly, it is highly durable. It's highly durable solid state uh, storage having data retention capability. As I have uh, told you, data retention capability is more than 10 years. That means if we keep some data in it, we can retain it for over 10 years. Okay. It's a compact device, size of a pen. It's a very small device. Okay. It comes in a different shapes and styles nowadays. Okay. It enables easy transport uh, of data from one computer to the another computer but in this case we have to use it physically that means when we fetch some data from one computer we have to take it physically out and insert into the next uh, computer to transfer that data a user simply plugs it into the USB port of a computer USB port you can see it here this is the USB port a uh, pen drive is being inserted into this USB port for the data transferring okay it does not require any battery cable software thus it is almost compatible with most of the pcs available nowadays okay this was about the flash drive next uh, we will be talking about the memory cards sd mmc this is how a memory card is looking like okay look this small thing over here this latch is called a write protected lock whenever we turn it on that means we can only read data in from it but whenever a lock is turned off we can write data as well into it okay and this thing the notch over here is a direction notch that gives us direction how we have to put this memory card inside the device okay it is similar to that of the flash drive these are flash memory based cards okay they are called a secure digital which is this SD multimedia card this is MMC okay secure digital multimedia card such type of cards are usually compatible with cameras and cell phones usually these facilitate easy transfer of data from these devices to the computer when we transfer this data from the memory card to the computer storage in a computer hard disk we can transfer the data from these memory cards to the hard disk or we can uh, transfer them for the further processing also now those were the two types of uh, few memory storage devices but if we have to use the number of that is multiple such devices in a single unit that is when the concept of mass storage devices comes okay these are having storage capabilities or capacity of several trillion bytes okay several trillion bytes these use multiple units which I said earlier multiple units of storage device like discs or tapes or CDs okay and few of them are first is disk array what is disk array it uses a set of magnetic disks in this case magnetic disk collectively when they are kept collectively in some cabinet or some uh, single unit then they, these are called disk arrays okay these hard disks are mounted in a single unit and we can see them these are commonly called a rad what is rad a redundant array of inexpensive discs how a disk array is looking like this is a disk array and in this whole cabinet single unit cabinet we have a multiple these are the multiple one two three four and these are the multiple discs hard discs placed inside it okay next we have automated tape library what is automatic tape library 
automatic tape library it uses a set of magnetic tapes in this case it was a set of magnetic hard disks but in this case we have a set of magnetic tapes okay this is how it is looking like this is a single unit and inside it we have a multiple tapes placed inside it and uh, this is acting as a single unit all right next we have a cd rom jukebox in this case we have a collection of cd roms in this case it was tapes here it was discs and in this case it is cd rom the collection a set of cd roms this is how it is looking like and uh, these multiple discs are placed inside this house okay now we have a concept of online nearline and offline storage what are they first we will look about online under direct it is an under direct control of processing unit that means it's placed near the computer to which it belongs okay it provides very rapid access okay since it is very much close to that of the computer processor so that means it has a very rapid access of data on a constant basis okay now disk arrays in this case are used commonly now nearline storage are they are acting as an intermediate storage okay between online and offline these are intermediate storage it is respectively slower than online storage it is obviously because they are placed a little far uh, than that of the online storage devices tape libraries are used in this next we have offline storage it is not under the direct control of a computer there is no direct contact of the storage with the computer it is also known as disconnected storage it's not connected to the uh, this computer magnetic tapes magnetic disks optical disks and memory storage devices are used in this case Okay, I hope you have understood online nearline and offline storage now lastly we have hierarchical storage system. What is it? There's a little diagram. I'm going to show you this is the case first there are uh, registers Then there is cache memory This is the first one. This is the second one. Then we have man memory then we have on online storage devices then we have near line storage devices and lastly we have offline storage devices this is the hierarchy the more we go up there is a huge access time increase in access time as we go uh, up in this hierarchy the registers are the most superpower and uh, uh, these offline storage are slower than them and uh, in this case if we go down in this hierarchy in this case the storage capacity increases the storage capacity increases but the access time decreases considerably i hope you have came across uh, these concepts very clearly and you have understood it very well now i have lastly a request small request to you that if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet then make sure to subscribe it soon so that you can stay updated about all the latest upcoming videos till then take care of yourself thank you very much